Nice guys are a topic we cover quite a lot on this channel. They're very different to actual guys that are just nice. Because they for some reason believe they are nice, which they also believe entitles them to women, I guess. It's mostly women they feel as though they're entitled to. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the worst nice guys on the planet. My story is the perfect guy who can't get girls and why this is so common. I'm in college, have a 4.0, I work out every day and I'm physically attractive. I have 50k saved, I have hobbies. I understand finance and real estate. Women love that. Like, a bit of advice from our, your old pal George Mimulus. Talk to women about finance and real estate. They will be sopping wet for you and can provide a future. But girls reject me all the time. I am called a racist and sexist by people at my college for seemingly existing. You're just walking about, not doing anything. You're just getting called a racist and a sex. I think you must be doing something. I'm not allowed to show emotion. By any chance, are you showing emotion by shouting racial slurs? I'm not allowed to ask girls out because it's creepy. Not if you don't do it in a creepy way. <laughs> <laughs> the first is unreal. I'm desperate as fuck for your white females. Other females need to pay me to be in the same sheet slash hot tub with me. But I can pay your old blondes $40 an hour. I don't think anyone's going to be taking you up on that offer, pal. I need some females in my life, bro. I'm probably ugly as fuck and trying to convince myself I'm attractive because I've never even had a girl best friend. I wonder why. Maybe it's because you're weird. Maybe a cute white chick pities me one day and gets with me. Oh, brother. Don't mind me. Just your desperate, conventionally attractive Indian scan cute blonde white females that I can give exclusive free hot tub access to with me for my 21st in LA. Fuck exclusive? Free? Oh, the white females, they will dawn upon your house. If I'm getting to know a girl at a party, bar, nightclub or festival and wish to hook up with them, how cute would it be if I pulled out a panty from my pocket and gave it to them, followed by saying, I expect to see you wearing that tonight. I think that is just a fast track onto the sex offenders register. I just recently started coming to this location for the cute goth girl who works here. Turns out she's a total bitch ignored me for an hour even though I was standing by the register the entire time. She blew off every attempt to try and get to know about her. Maybe because she's working. Maybe because she's at work. Maybe because she don't want to be bothered by losers like you. Like if you, if you want to drop some game, try and drop some game. But maybe if she shows that she's not interested after the first attempt, just leave it. Don't stand there for a fucking hour. I ended up having to buy something I didn't even want to get her to even have a conversation with me. And then I felt like I was being rushed out the door. She needs to work on being more attentive to people who are just trying to be nice to her and not just giving all her attention to people buying something right there and then. That's her job. I'm not interested. <laughs> Looks at you firmly. I'll give you one more chance. I know you're tired of normal men, right? Bite slip. <laughs> I can take you places you've never thought possible. Just take my hand. Slowly outstretch his palm. Holy shit, dude. You need to stop messaging me before I puke. Stares in confusion. But, but okay. Slowly starts to walk away. K okay. Looks back sadly, suddenly angry. You know what? I'm a nice guy. I'm tired of saying it. Turns around with the force of a thousand suns. That's the wrong. I think you mean sun as in the, the star of the sun. One day I'm going to find a beautiful wife and spore her with all my money <laughs> and wealth. <laughs> You will still be sucking Chad's cock, wishing you never rejected me. Because you are a dumb bitch, have a nice life. Smirks and walks away, giving you the bird. Oh, and don't fuck with me again or you'll be sorry. <laughs> and this is why I've avoided Tinder for years. The first picture is of his bathtub taken with mood lighting. I am an anomaly. I am a highly intelligent and successful single man. I am a gentleman that actually wants to take you out on a proper date and have a good time. You're, you're what? Your pussy should be a reward, ladies. If I treat you to a fun night, maybe you'll allow me to taste that yum yum. <laughs> Fuck you, gal. I don't know what is wrong with people anymore. I wonder the same thing, my friend. I wonder the same thing. Probably just about different things. Just let down your guard and let's have a genuine experience together. My treat. I may be a lab geek, but I am also a bad, <laughs> a bad boy. I go hard. Have fun trying to keep up. Much love. What the fuck is Psychonautic? Isn't that a game? The Psychonaut Academy of Detroit. That's not a thing, surely. Psychonaut refers to both a method. This just looks... I don't know what half of these words mean, but I don't think it's a real thing. I was very pleased with the service that I received. The person on drive through was very friendly, especially the girl at the window. She was very nice and pretty, and her voice was nice as well. She gave me my drinks and number and had me pull ahead to wait for my food. And I knew that I had to do something. When my food came out, I gave the server a piece of paper with my phone number and name on it. and told them to give it to the girl in the drive through but she never texted me. Either the server did not give her my number or she was being rude to a paying customer by not talking to them. I don't 
think by working at McDonald's, you you are obligated to text customers flirting with them or agreeing to like get with them or something. I was very disappointed in this part of my service and will not be returning in future as I cannot look at such at such disrespectful employees again. Okay, mate, you do that. Oh, the fucking attractiveness changes perspective. Well, yes. Well, yes, scientists. Attractive people are attractive. Water is wet. I love it when people are like, oh, when, when cute guys or girls do this, it's cute. But when ugly guys and girls do this, it's not cute. Yes. Yes. Oh, fucking hell. Male 24. I want a submissive wife who will obey me and who I can control. So I'm socially awkward and introverted. I would never have gathered that from the title of this post. I have never had a girlfriend or anything. Once again, I am shocked. But there's nothing I want more than a woman who will obey me. I'm a hardworking man who wants to provide. But I want the woman I'm with to bear my children. I want to make her wear clothes, which I think will make her look sexy. I want steak and blowjobs. I want her to worship me. And I will touch her whenever I feel like it, even if we are out... Mm, uh. What the fuck is this next bit? I thought that bit was about what? I struggle with women, but lately I've been having a thoughts of kidnapping a woman, brainwashing her, and turning her into my perfect wife. Someone needs to track down this this fellow's IP address and and send the police to his house, I think. I'd like to come home from work on a Friday and see my submissive wife along with our beautiful kids. Also, I want at least four kids minimum. In fact, I will push her to have as many kids as possible. I cannot fathom how you have never had a girlfriend before. You seem like such a nice guy. Now taking applications for a girlfriend, you must be one female, age 16 to 23. Japanese? Exceptions will be made for white girls if small and skinny, and then in all caps, no, no blacks. Right. Willing to do as I ask. Have an IQ lower than mine, 113. Have zero male friends. Cook three meals for me a day. Be willing to split the bill on a date. Be into kinky stuff. We'll discuss in PM. Oh, I must PM this fine gentleman. Send me nudes every day. I do not see you nude in person. Have sex with me as I ask. Be on birth controls. Condoms make me feel trapped. What? Oh my god, you must have such a large member. Condoms will fit around like fucking anything. Hang on one second. Right, here's, here's, a, here's a condom. Here's a Sprite bottle. It will fit around it. I should probably chosen something less, less fucking awkward to get something around, but fucking hell. Hang on. I'm not really making a very good point here. Actually, you know what? You know, I'm not going to use a bottle. I'm just going to use my arm. My arm is going to absolutely fucking reek after this. This is fun. How's your day going? Yeah, brother, your dick, being realistic, is not bigger than my forearm. I can spread my fingers. Your dick is not that big, brother. Ideally, not have a job. Why? If anything for me, that's a red flag. But I like having someone that wants to work and wants to find a job. And is, like, proactive in that kind of thing. So why would you not want someone to not have a job? That's weird. Is there a tracking app on your phone so that I know tour location at all points? Very sane. Some Redditor messages me defending Andrew Tate after I commented that he's a misogynist. You need to understand that you cannot judge somebody's character from six second clips that have been cut up from hour long discussions. You listen to the hour long discussions and more often than not, that it doesn't really add all that much. He has never said men can beat women, that is simply not true. And his point about men cheating is that when a woman is with a certain level of high value male who because of their value have lots of options, they cannot expect that man to be completely loyal to them and never explore the options he has. He never said all men can cheat. He did. He did. There's a very famous clip of it on the internet. So a woman can't go around fucking people and pretend it's the same as a man running around fucking people. It's absolutely not the same. If I have a woman who I truly love and I go out and fuck and I come back to her and I don't care about her and I only love my girl, that's not cheating. That's exercise. If she even talks to a dude, it's cheating. He said that when you're a man at a certain level of value, the woman should not expect that man to be completely loyal to them. I mean, they should. If you're in a, rela a, a, a monogamous relationship, then, you know, you should expect them to be loyal to you. Guacamole better than sex. LMAO, you so obviously haven't had sex with the right man. Allow me to change that. Ah, no thanks. I think I'll stick with the guacamole. Mm, you are one intriguing woman. You complain about being single, and yet the second a nice man offers you his company would rather eat guacamole. This is why you're fat. I think that might be the funniest thing I've ever read. It's like you can't grasp the concept of irony. Maybe you're not as nice as you think you are. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Bitch, you would be lucky to have me. You should be grateful I'm even talking to you. You're so right. What was I thinking? I'm being dumb. You're obviously such a nice, charming guy. When can you come over, sexy? Wait, really? <laughs> Eggplant emoji, really? Fuck no, I'd rather die alone. All right, so this is like one of them hinge prompts or whatever. The award I should be nominated for. The most misjudged man on earth, yet with the most beautiful heart and intentions. You see, the thing is, he could have the most beautiful 
beautiful heart and intentions, but that's still cringe. Put something funny on your hinge. W women aren't going to go for a guy with this in their bio. And I know uh, nice guys might listen to that and go, oh, so you're right. You, you Nice guys do finish last. No, no. People that post shit like this do. Zero game. Met this guy once months ago for about 45 minutes. Good morning. How's my baby's tight, wet pussy? Oh, I always get excited when I get a notification on here, but then I realize it's you and don't feel special. I randomly message 20 different girls daily. Are you buy into girls? So I'm not the only one you harass. That's disturbing. Oh, fuck off. Nobody is harassing your old, fat, ugly ass. I'm blocking you. 